Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today we'll be showing you another tutorial on how you can secure your WordPress site without using resource-heavy um, security plugins such as the famous uh, security plugin on WordPress called WordFence. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to open our WordPress site. I have here a freshly installed uh, WordPress site. So um, for the de demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this um, demo that um, my website domain you could use uh, your website on this one. So we're going to go to the plugins, click on the add new. We're going to install some lightweight um, security plugins that you could easily configure to uh, further improve security on your WordPress site. So the first one that we're going to um, install is the stop user enumeration plugin. What this does, it uh, would automatically um, disable or prevent any um, user enumeration uh, tool that's used commonly on Linux systems or uh, any penetration systems that would uh, easily get all your um, user accounts list of uh, names usernames on your WordPress site so by having this user, stop user enumeration plugin it would basically prevent that from happening so just um, save everything up they're uh, good to go then we're going to click again on the add new what we're going to add now is the um, BBQ firewall this um, firewall plugin is actually quite a uh, lightweight uh, firewall plugin which blocks um, bad queries so instead of having a full um, firewall running on your wordpress site which quite takes a lot of resources including the cpu usage you could have this bbq firewall which actually provides you with almost everything that you'll be needing so we're going to add another plugin so you just basically install it and it's good to go the next one is wp hide and security you could see here this very um, uh, useful plugin is wp hide and security enhancer install that one so just click on the wp hide and click on the right tab it will uh, show you this one so what you'll have to do is uh, you could set a random name for your current theme what this does it would mask your url from the view source so in case you have a uh, rather um if you have the website loaded up if you right click the one and click on the view page source you'll be able to easily find the uh themes under the wp content it will show you which theme you are currently using what this does it will mask your current theme and folder so we're just going to secure that one so we could set any name that you like you could set this one to a template and a skin the css you could there's an example here but if you uh, don't want to write anything here you simply click this generate random value i would prefer to use this one so that you don't have to worry about naming them for this um remove description header you must, uh, I would suggest to just leave it like that. Don't um, modify that one because most of these um, options that has a warning could actually break your site if you don't configure them properly. So just hit the save button once you are able to set the random value for each template and go also on the WP includes and uh, all the tabs simply generate random values for each corresponding setting. If you are not allowing any uh, signups or registration on your website, you could block the WP signup. But you, if you are allowing signups, you must not um, block all these um, settings right here. Another note, uh, you could actually see the description right here. It just depends on uh, the needs of your website. So if um, that particular feature is not needed on your website you could simply disable that one and be sure to hit the save 
button. So I will not go through all of these options since it's quite a lot. So you just have to scan through all these options. Actually, they are all useful. So just simply read through the description right here. So uh, I would recommend that under the general um, tab, you must um, disable the WordPress generator meta because it would generate the version number of your WordPress. So if you are not able to update your WordPress site, if you're not able to manage it for a long time, it would be harder for the hacker to be able to expose some vulnerabilities on your website. So once you are done going through all of these options right here, what you can see is you could go to your website and refresh your site. And right click again and click the view page source and from the uh, a while ago we could try looking for theme and now you could you couldn't barely see the theme that we are currently using right now what that basically does it would be harder for the hacker to know which particular theme plugins you are using thus it will um, further improve the security on your website so you can close it one and uh, after that we're going to install another very useful plugin on wordpress it's the google recaptcha or recaptcha plugin there is uh, plenty of um plugin recapture plugins right here what i could recommend is this advanced no recapture and invisible recapture or this simply login no captcha recapture just um choose whatever you like they uh, all does the same, very same thing and uh, activate the one once done and look for the settings and click on the login no captcha you'll be needing to create some keys on your um, google account so we're just going to go to, to our google right now google recapture so if you don't have your website right here just click the create button right here and add your label right here Let's say demo software tips and uh, be sure to check the v2 since i'm using the um, v2 uh, google recapture but if you could also use the v3 version of recapture and uh, i will just leave it there like that and uh, i'll put my website right here hit the accept recapture terms of service and uh, submit the one it will generate you the site key and the secret key and simply hit the save changes and it will show you this example right here and be sure that you are able to see this checkbox icon right here and it works if it doesn't work check your keys and your settings on your google recapture website it would show you either the key is invalid or your invalid error or any error right here it would be either on these keys or on the settings on your um recapture it's either you have forgot to write the proper proper domain name on under the recapture settings once done you could go ahead and try um opening up a uh, private browser and let's try logging in and checking if the recapture feature is enabled so last um tip that i could give is go to your hosting uh, control panel so I'm using extra hosting on my hosting. They have provided me a free auto SSL feature where and I could generate my let's encrypt free SSL for my domains, which could actually get renewed. So if you don't have this feature, it's uh, fairly easy. You just go to a uh, free SSL, so you go to Google and you'll be able to see this SSL for free, or you could use um, Cloudflare if you haven't used Cloudflare before could also use Cloudflare if you don't have a free SSL on your hosting. But since I have, I'll be using this one. And be sure to enable the HTTPS on your website. So I have already the, the certificate installed on my website right, right now, as you can see. It's installed on my um, domain, demo.freesoftwaretips.tech. So I could go ahead and go to general settings. And... Uh, could change the wordpress address url and site address url to https so before applying any settings right like that again go to the private session and test out first if your 
uh, if your website is working under the HTTPS version because if you have no certificate installed and you apply these settings you might get some error so be sure to have the certificates installed first on your domain so once done hit the save changes and it will secure your website so having a um, HTTPS secured website is very crucial since it would prevent um, attackers from viewing your unencrypted connection since you are protected and are, are connected on a encrypted connection so the hackers or attackers wouldn't be able to spy through your data or any values that are being sent through the server and your website so that's basically the most basic stuff and uh, security settings that you could do to protect your WordPress site without using uh, resource heavy plugins such as the WordFence um, plugin. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and uh, comment down below your feedbacks down below. And uh, I'll try to help you out if you have any question. And if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, click that subscribe button and bell notification to get notified with the tips and tricks on this channel. So till then, see you in my next WordPress videos.